with Alex Sayer. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great, thanks. Nice to see you. Are going to tell me all about the shooting ground? Yeah, we've just taken over. It used to be Pinewood. Uh, we're now going to call it Blight and Shooting Ground. That sounds good. Um, the last owners, they, they've left it. Now we've taken over. We've done loads of work. Um, currently tidying up, yeah, yeah. making new stands, um, sorting traps out. What was the main thing that you wanted to change? What was the main target that you thought this was? Uh, just, just pretty much everything. Just like everything, just seemed to be the same old. It needs to bring a bit of like fresh stuff into it. I mean, I like to change my targets every fortnight. Like, yeah, so there's always yeah. something different. So yeah. when you come, there's always going to be a diff something different to have a, to, to see really. Okay, are we going to have a look around? Yeah, well, I can show you around. I can show you around some of the ideas, what we're doing. Lovely. Yeah, just here we're going to be putting a sport trap on. Sport trap just brings more people into, into it. Like, if you've got a group of people, they all can participate all at the same time. Um, and it's coming more common now. And also you can put more variation of targets on for in one little area. Yeah, so next week we've got a digger coming in, they're going to be pulling all these banks up, making sure it's all nice and tidy and levelled up. Come, I've now taken over. Pinewood is now going to be known as Blight and Shooting Ground. Um, I've currently put a new stand in. So here we can put various different tiles on either coming down the bank, nice little loopers, even a good long rabbit on the far bank there which could be a nice good difficult target for some people or a good target just to practice in general. A lot of room what we can use here for different sizes of targets. The shooting ground's been here for such a long time with noise and stuff like that, the locals know and also because Blyton's got the local race, race circuit just nearby, sometimes you can hear them over the shooting, so we're quite lucky really. The um, locals are used to us being here, so we can get away making a little bit of noise. <laughs> So if I take you up here, I can show you more of the ground where we've got the skeet houses and that will eventually will we're going to try to be bringing back, working with closely with um, the CPSA. My idea is to bring the skeet house back. It's ideal for beginners, I, even children to learn on, um, to, even just to get the basics on skeet. And it'd be nice to bring it all back because where we are, it can go quite a long way to try and find a skeet ground just to practice on. Um, We've got more, more ground we can put targets on, even targets just specifically for beginners. So even you can put targets on for people with small bore guns like your children what can use 410s and 20 bores and they're not too far away and they're not too difficult to encourage them to do even more. So as you can see here we've got a nice clear background, it's a bit flat at the moment but we do have towers now, more height on targets etc. So the idea is on competition, when we start doing competition, we will shoot the lake backwards. So we'll shoot it facing where we would normally shoot practice, so it's always been neutral ground for any competition shooter. This will never get practice. This will only ever be in for competition only. And as you can see, it brings out a different array of targets. Yet again, shooting down below your feet, shooting targets coming across standing water. Matt, do you mind being on camera? This is Matt, he's um, helping me out on the ground at the moment, really appreciating his help here at the minute, there's a lot of work to be done. As you can see, there's a lot of, a lot of cardboard and that to pick up and try and get on top of the cleanness and without people like my friend here, Matt coming to help us, it'll be a, quite a tough challenge on my own. So I do appreciate all their help when they're coming to help us really. As you can see in the distance there, there's a roe deer take, going across the field now into, his, into the wood, just out there grazing on his way. You can hear the birds singing and everything, it's lovely. I am really impressed. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at it. They're actually nesting in it, aren't they? They're borrowed into it. 
There's just nothing, is there, for miles around? Yeah, it's, it's a real nice, the scenery's nice out here, it's just nice and clear. You know, there's, there's, you get to see stuff as well, Not it's not just the same old, you actually get to see something when you're here as well. It's, it's nice, like. Absolutely, and you've got so many of these traps. I like Bowman traps, obviously they're British made. Yeah. Really reliable. Well, they're only made just, they're, these are just only made just down the road, like. Yeah, they are, they're yeah, the, quite, yeah, yeah, they? they're only literally just made down the road, which makes it ideal because you can get parts if you need parts. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have got some Laporte traps as well, round, round and about, and we're probably some of the older, some of the older ones we've got here, and that we'll probably get some more Laporte's and small bowmers because they're just on our doorstep. We ain't got to go far for parts, and, and it's all about helping each other as well at the same time. Of course it is. Which I, I must thank Premier Guns for sponsoring us and enable me to be able to come and see you. Yeah, it's uh, nice to have you here. To promote your new ground. No, thank no, you. Thank you for having me. Now, a little question for you. With all these traps lying around, you're doing sport trap. Are you going to start super sporting, do you think? Uh, it's something we've looked into. I've, I've not actually shot it myself personally. I'm, I'm more of sporting and sport trap and compact. That's what I like to shoot yeah. a lot of myself. Um, I know one of a couple of my friends, well, Matt, the person that helps out, he shot it the other week and it's, he was like encouraging me to go and shoot it. It's something what we probably yeah. will look at. Matt. What a... Uh, come on in. Let us know your thoughts on super sporting. Was it the first time you'd had a go at it? Uh, first time, yeah. First time shooting it. Uh, yeah, really good, yeah. Yeah? Yep, yep. I definitely recommend it. Do you think it's something that you should have here? Absolutely, yeah. I think yeah. we've got the ground for it. Yeah. Definitely got the space. I think so too. I think yeah. a lot of people like to see it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, it's like, like it's like next year. I mean, we've got we've got some co different competitions. What we're thinking of doing for next year. This year, it's all about bringing the ground back, back as a nice settled yeah. ground, and then you know get to learn the ground a bit more. What targets we can put on, and then hopefully next year is then look at putting um, some some couple of couple of days or one day events on for different just different competitions course, yeah, and stuff ball. like. That. Yeah, definitely small boys. I've had I've had a few people ask me about four ten shoots, even auto shoots, and even yeah. side by side shoots. Yeah. Which, which <laughs> it's nice to see the side by side. It's everyone always thought it's like it's still like the tr traditional gun. Yeah. What everyone's either started off with or they know someone who had one it's it's, it's and it's disappearing fast i think the the, the under and over is coming more and more leaps and bounds and the 410 slow that sorry the side by side slowly disappearing i think well, they're, we need they're we need absolute bargain at the minute yeah, yeah, yeah you steel. can really yeah. do well yeah and i think and you know it's not too much of a concern with the side by side you know, you know no really isn't. no and check out the video it's on the <laughs> <laughs> um but it's just something what i think we need to keep keep doing like because a lot of kids they even start off with like the dad had a side by side and they they give it down to their kid and they yeah. once he starts shooting gets better then he might go to a side um, and over and under but i think we need to still keep bringing them back like you know i think you're absolutely right show, still show what they can do yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, point yeah. it in the right direction it will hit something it will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. no you must be absolutely you must be really delighted with this place i mean ed you always wanted a shooting ground how, how did this touch i i always wanted to shoot my own personal ground i have ran a ground in the past um I have run a ground before. Where, where was that? I don't really want to say. I'm going to keep that off. <laughs> <laughs> Personal reasons. <laughs> um, yeah, I have run a ground before, um, and then this came up towards like Christmas time. I got the ink, and that it could, could be coming up for rent, so I jumped on the bandwagon, hit strike the iron when it was hot, sort of thing, and got in there, and then, and then took over on Good Friday, which was the seventh, which was a very good Friday for myself. And Notice I'm not making Good Friday agreement joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we took over on Good Friday, which was a good Friday. We've not really looked back. We just got on, hit the ground really you hard, really put, have, haven't you? putting some really long days in. Yeah. And it's one of them, if you don't put the work in, you're not going to get out of it really. <laughs> of you're not, not. going to get no, no achievement out of it. And that's what we've got to do. And, yeah. and we'll always will be improving the ground. Anywhere we can improve it, we will do. Brilliant. Well, I'll come and see you again when you're open. <laughs> Lovely, Thanks thank so you. Much. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Proudly sponsored by Premier Gun.